This could be the shape of Iraq's new leadership. President Fuad Masoum has appointed Shiite politician Haider al-Abadi to form a new government within 30 days. It's the ultimate snub for two-time Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki. He and core supporters are insisting that he should keep the top job. On Monday, hundreds of demonstrators took to the streets of the capital to show their support for the incumbent premier. We demand that President Fuad Masoum support Maliki. He leads the biggest parliamentary bloc. The head of the Shiite National Coalition must also support Maliki. This is a mass demand and a constitutional one. Opponents say Maliki has failed to pull together a deeply fractured country. Autonomous Kurds in the north say they have little voice in the central government. And minority Sunnis complain they've been largely excluded by the ruling Shiites in Baghdad. It is Sunni disaffection that is said to be feeding support for the jihadist Islamic State. The U.S. and E.U. believe that only a government of national unity will be capable of halting the militant advance. And because Maliki has largely ignored pleas for national unity, he's been asked to step aside. But he remains defiant, and he's even threatened to sue President Masoum, seen here on the left. He's violated the constitution to favor the interests of his own groups over those of the Iraqi people. Maliki deployed special forces loyal to him at major intersections in Baghdad, further underscoring the degree of political instability.